Do you know that people are gonna be burning forever? Yes. People are going to be burning forever. Not in hell. In heaven. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Mari Michel Hill. Today's topic. Um, we have just begun section two. And we are going to talk about disease. Huh. It's interesting that there's a disease permeating the whole world. So, chapter 7. We're going to start with chapter 7. And chapter 7 is about mm, disease that begins in the mind. So, before you even get sick in the, in the bodily part, you're already sick in your mind. What that means? It means two things. It means imagination and illness. Now I'm just I'm just reading what's on the uh, on the page right now. So, but don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell on my YouTube channel. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook at The Open Veil TV. Yeah. And don't forget to like and comment as well. So, let's get right into it. Alright. Actually, let me just quickly change my... No, okay, that's better. This is the beginning in the mind. Um, but basically, I guess it says to see chapter 75, imagination and illness. I guess that's more of a detailed um, subject. So, but we know that disease is a very dangerous nowadays. So, two little thoughts given to cause causative factors for a little thought is given to the causes underlying the mortality the disease and degeneracy that exist today in the most civilized and favored lands the human race is deteriorating the ministry of healing page 380. It's kind of funny that um, very good case I'm going to use. Have you never, have you ever noticed that Corona is ravaging popular countries and popular cities? Yet those that are on the outskirt that are not in the big population, they are doing pretty okay. Look at big countries and small countries. I'm kind of blessed I grew up in, a, in such a country as where I grew up because it built my immune system for things that are in that category. If you notice, most countries that are poor are not dying as much as those that are rich. You know, yes. We have less mortality of Corona in my country as well. Look at Africa as well. Look. So, what does that tell us? That tells us that there is something that we do that people in rich countries don't do. First, we don't let it get into our brain because disease begins in the brain. So, we don't think about it. We don't meditate upon it. We don't... Uh, worry about it 
you get more of a chance of to live a better life. Let's continue. Let's see. I'm gonna go right here actually for the moment. Nine tenths. So basically, nine out of ten of diseases originate in the mind. Well, let's see. Well, you know that what you think mm, goes to what your body does. So if you're thinking of disease, and a word about disease, then you're not gonna, you're more likely going to attract disease in you. But I might be wrong. Let's just see what she has to say. Sickness of the mind prevails everywhere. Okay, I guess that's nine tenths of the diseases from which men suffer have their foundation here in the mind. Remember. It's the battle for the mind. The series is called the Battle for the Mind. The book is called Mind, Character, and Personality. So we know it's talking about the mind. Perhaps some living home trouble is like a canker eating to the very soul and weakening the life forces. Remorse for sin sometimes undermines the constitution and unbalances the mind. There are erroneous doctrines also as that of an eternally burning hell and the endless torment of the wicked that, by giving exaggerated and distorted views of the character of God, has produced the same result upon sensitive minds. Testament of the Church of Testimony for the Church, Volume 5, page 444. Um, let's see. Oh, let's see. I'm thinking, um, there is a thing about, um, burning hell. Something I, I never actually thought about, uh, I think a pastor one time mentioned it. I'm like, that kind of makes sense. Do you know that people are going to be burning forever? Yes. People are going to be burning forever. Not in hell. In heaven. That's interesting. Yeah. People are going to burn forever. Not in hell. In heaven. Remember, God is fire. God is a consuming fire. You see, Satan wants us to believe that we're going to burn forever in hell. But the reality is, you're not going to burn forever in hell. You're going to burn until a point where you die. But in heaven, and you'll be in the presence of God, which is fire. Look at the three Hebrews, you know, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. They were thrown into the burning, what? Fire. But then, they didn't get burned. Why? Because the Son of God was there, which himself is fire. Think about it. When Christ comes, when Jesus Christ comes, he says that his glory comes and he's going to burn the whole planet. Meaning the wicked are going to be burned by the brightness of his coming. At the same time, the saints are not getting burned. Why is that? That's because the Holy Spirit is also a Fire. Remember Pentecost? Tongues of fire. So once you have the Holy Spirit in you, which symbolizes also fire, then fire 
encounters fire doesn't get burned. They unite. They unite. So in a sense, when you get to heaven, you won't be you you you're gonna be burning forever, but never get burnt. Just like the three Hebrews, the three Hebrew, uh, the three Hebrews in the burning fiery furnace. See, that's the that's what Satan does, you know, that manipulation. That's what we study in this book called mind, character, and personality. That's why. It makes sense now to you, right? Let's move on. I'm going to make that one short. I don't want to go too far. Let's see. Last one. Mind affects body. Mind affects body. The relation which exists between the mind and the body is very intimate. When one is affected, the other sympathizes. The condition of the mind affects the health of the physical system. If the mind is free and happy from a consciousness of right doing and a sense of satisfaction in causing happiness to others, it creates a cheerfulness that will react upon the whole system causing a freer circulation of the blood and turning up of the entire body. The blessing of God is a healing power and those who are abundant in benefiting others will realize the, that wondrous blessing in both heart and life. Christian Temperance and Bible Hygiene, chapter, page 13, 1890. Mm. I was talking to a lady the other day. I forgot exactly where. And I, and I was mentioning to them how people here in this country, in the U.S., don't know anything about hygiene. And I, I, it, 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 it kind of bothers me because I'm thinking, how do you go to the bathroom with your drink? And your food. Literally, people, I mean, first of all, they're drinking the bad things. Coffee and soda and trash like this. And two, they go to the bathroom where people are taking dumps. They are peeing. There are all kinds of bad bacteria in there. The smell and the scent ascending in it. Yet they take their drink into the bathroom. I'm like, oh, how nasty. How nasty. And of course, you got those that will say, well, don't be judging people. Why are you judging people? I'm like, no, I'm not judging people. I'm judging what they are doing. Because if I do something like stealing somebody's pen, you're gonna, or cure somebody, you're gonna judge what I did. Right? So I'm judging what they are doing, which is wrong, because that's gonna bring disease upon themselves. And who would like to have disease upon themselves? Nobody. But hey, if they don't wanna listen to me, what can I do? At least, I give you the message. If you want to choose it to to live to 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 believe it, that's good. If you don't, well, that's not on me. That's on you. But remember this. The reason why I'm telling you this is because God has given me knowledge on certain things that, yes, I didn't go to school to study psychology. No, I said something different than that. But guess what? I have books that explain better things than what schools are teaching. Which, this one right here, gives me both the physical and spiritual aspect of psychology in a sense. So, what are we going to do in this case? Gotta tell other people 
to take care of themselves and not to worry about stuff that are unimportant. Even Corona is not important. You take care of yourself, you shower, you wash your hands. Why should you be worried about people? Eat right? You shouldn't be worried about Corona. But hey, to each his own. Right? Anyways. Don't forget again to like, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to go on my Facebook page at The Open Bear TV and follow and like and comment. This was Mario Michel. I hope to see you again, but if I don't see you again, I hope to see you when Jesus Christ comes the second time, of course, in heaven. Until then, bye for now. Mario out.